when it comes to the argument that, like, you know, Jack Thompson and maybe, like, your great-grandma who says that Pong makes you more violent or video games make you more violent, I think it's the exact opposite. I think that video games are a release for a lot of people. They're able to get out a lot of emotion, uh, whether it's anger or whether it's even uh, sadness. There is, like, drama video games, sort of, where, you know, stuff happens that bring out emotional releases like that in people. But as for the violence, I think it's parallel to karate. If you look at the statistics, kids who go out and do karate and learn martial arts and self-defense, they get that release while they're there, and they don't feel the need to go out and fight everybody. Well, I think it's the same thing when it comes to video games. Video games is something that everyone loves, everyone enjoys. You get a lot out of it. It's a way of life for a lot of people. You enjoy playing uh, games on the computer, games on a console, uh, games on a handheld gaming uh, system. I'm proud of the fact that I play video games because I think it's helped me in my life to make choices and to, you know, it helped my creative, it helps my creativity and it makes me think better, I think. Like, I mean, if you, I like to see it as like, people read books to gain creativity and they read books to, uh, you know, widen their mind, you know, see new things and everything. And with a video game, it's kind of like that. That's what I think. I mean, with an RPG, it's kind of like that. Except for you get music, too. And you get interactivity. And you get the video aspect of it, too. Please. Give us a chance to explain. Uh, I think video games have helped in a lot of aspects of my life. Uh, one of them would be friends. I mean, every gamer is your friend unless they've done something wrong or been a noob about it, you know. It's just a big group of friends and you can hang out with them and they think just like you. A noob, on the other hand, is uh, somebody who's just like totally sucks at something and thinks they're probably good at it. Or maybe they are just completely new at it, you know. That's like a noob, like N-W-E-N-E-W-B. And then like the other noobs, like N-0-0-B. And you run into a lot of total noobs, like N-0-0-B. And it can vary on which one people are, depending on how they act around other people. Video game culture is what the general populace of video games act like. A combination of like video games and the internet, like slammed together in the face. Because video games are online now, and so everything that happens in video games, you know, gets quoted and thrown all around on there and everybody throws it back and the the terminology that everybody uses, all the all the slang that comes with it, all the all the mannerisms that comes with it. Video games have become a huge part of my life, I have to say. It's one of my main hobbies, a big hobby. I mean, I I I, I do a lot of research in video games and I try to keep updated and what everything everything's happening is a huge part of my life and what it means to me is everything that's that's what I claim to be part of some people look at their heritage and they say I'm English and I'm going to go learn about my roots and I'm gonna learn like things like that well I say I'm a gamer and I'm gonna go pick up the NES and learn about my roots <laughs>